give you DIY. If you've got one of these Delta Shopmasters, mine is a model TP300 portable planer. It's about a 12 inch job. Uh, it's a good planer. I've had it for a long time. Um, I need to uh, replace the blades on it. Now the beauty of these are two sided. So when you wear um, your one side down, you can flip them around and use the next side. So I've already done that. So it's time for a blade change. So that's what I'm about to show you right now. All right, here I got these off Amazon. Like I said, there's two blades on each, you know, on each side, so I'll be able to get a quite a bit out of one side and swap it over for the next. So, so shop around, and like I said, this was the model TP300, and it fit two or three other different kind too. So I got mine off Amazon. So shop around and get your best deal. So. uh let me make sure I'm in the camera here. All right. First thing you're going to do is go to the back side. Well, the very first thing you're doing is to make sure you got it unplugged. Let me get your fingers chopped off. All right, so she's unplugged. No power. All right. Got two little wing nuts here on each side of this. Get these off. And this goes right up. Set them to the side. Don't lose them. Okay. Then here is the blades okay you got one on this side and one on this side 180 degrees apart uh, so zoom down in here for a minute you got one two three four five six about seven nuts down in here it's holding this in and it takes an eight millimeter wrench so let's get that going so it can't be very wide it's just a little narrow space in here so i got my little handy craftsman here so righty tighty lefty loosey Let's get this old blade out now. We got it loose. And she is wore out. Folks, uh, be honest with you, the other day uh, when I inspected these, I took them out already and tried to sharpen them. While I ordered my new ones coming in, I tried to just put a, had me a little diamond, uh, a little file, and I just tried to sand it try to get me by until my new ones came in but I I didn't do I didn't really have any luck I I mean if I if this is all I had out in the bush I would have got real serious about it and probably could have done it but them these blades are really reasonable I mean what was the uh I think they were less than 20 I know they were less than 30 bucks so anyway All right, slide this baby back in and uh, remember the blade goes just like that. Here's the back of it and there's the front of it. If you got little spacers in there, mine had little spacers uh, down in these holes. show you that oh, boy 
Mm. All right. Right down in here, there's one over here on this side and one over here on this side, little holes. And I had these little things in my little things that kind of brung the blade up when they get real war. These was down in there. Obviously, they look like little nail heads. Somebody did that. I don't remember doing that, sticking them down in them holes. So take those out for sure because if you don't, I did that one time. You put them in, the blades are too tall, and it that's not good you don't want your blade sticking up just barely over that edge i'll try to show you that so slide your bracket back in get your new blade Slide it in. Remember, getting it even on both sides, best you can, is the key. So this blade is right over, it's right at the edge of that on the back side of it. In other words, this part of that blade... It's sitting right down over that thing and it sits right down at the edge of it and then with the blade sticking up about I don't know 16 to an eighth so it fits all the way down this side no more than that or, or the rollers down here won't pull the the wood through and it'll chip it out so I've done that so don't you don't want it sticking up and that was them spacers made it do that so I'm gonna start at the middle make sure it's right on both sides remember work to the middle out it's like you do an oak anything you try to get the bow out of something you work through the middle and out or work on one one side and work all the way to the other side and you'll work the bow out. You don't want to start on both ends and come this way because it'll have a warp in it and you can't get it out. So you start in the middle and work out or you start on one side and work all the way down. All right, folks, so look at that lip, about a 16, looks good. All right, let's get the other side, and I'll show you the big deer. Let's take this other one out. All right, folks, let me show you them spacer. It's, it's down in here. There's one here. One over here. And what it is, is just, it looks like uh, two little nail heads. Stick down in them hose and it's just raising them blades up some. They got they got war. He said there was four of them in there. Can't use these with the new blades or they'll be sticking up way too far. Mm. 
All right. All right, inspector. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, folks. You can see that. See how those are tapered? That's all the way tight. You got no space on this side and space on this side. So, when you put it in, you want this no space up. Put it in like that. Put it in like this. Remember, your new blade goes in like that. Blades towards that way. Get your blade and your holder there even. It's like you got about an eighth space of blade, and over here it fits, it's fitting right on this side too, according to this little. lip it fits over here all the way down and you got about an eighth sixteenth of blade okay so I'm going to start tightening this up and I'm going to look make sure the blades in there on both sides even and then I'm going to watch to and make sure this bracket stays down and don't ride up Make sure you got debris out of it, so that'll raise it up, too. Remember, I'm working from the middle out. All right, folks. Definitely the same on both sides. Seems like it's sticking up maybe a sixteenth at the most. All right, let's try this thing out, see if it cuts. Might keep these spacers. Yeah, like I'm gonna remember where they were. Well, there you go, folks. Hope this helped you. This 
this little Delta Shopmaster TP300. It's a good one. That's how you change the blades on them. Just take your time and watch what you're doing. Make sure you're even. And uh, you're about an eighth to a sixteenth in on your uh, blade height. And uh, let her go. It wasn't too bad. So keep God first in your life. Everything will fall right into place, folks. As always, I love you. God bless.